Lori Wilkerson Stewart and her husband Matt come from a long line of pastors on both sides of their family. Lori never imagined that any of her children would ever walk away from God. So when one of her sons wanted to live contrary to God's word, Lori was brokenhearted. But she found peace and learned how to pray for her wayward child. In her books, Promises for Prodigals, Lori shares the prayers she declared over her son and why she wants to see others pray their way to a breakthrough too. Well, Lori is joining us today, and it's great to have you with us. I'm excited because I think there are so many people out there who have children that are not walking in the faith they've been raised in or don't know the Lord, even though families have come to Him, and this holds such promise. Let's begin before we talk about the books and what you've done there to go back to 2011, and what happened at that point? Well, my son at that time, I have three kids. My oldest son was a senior in high school, about to graduate, and up until that point, I mean, we had been the, per the perfect Christian family and all yeah. the kids were serving God. You guys were pastors. Yeah, pastoring a church, had just planted a church. And we get a phone call and a trusted relative let us know that there was a lot of things going on in our son's life that we were not aware of. And when we confronted him about that, he did not repent of it. He wanted, he, he, he wanted to continue to go in that mm -hmm. direction. And it was a lifestyle that it was completely contrary to God's word. And even after explaining all that and talking to him and extended family getting involved, talking, he was dead set on that was the direction he was going to go. And it just yeah. crushed us. What do you do when confronted by something like that as a parent, Lori? Because I think the struggle for parents is this is my child and I love him or her so much. But at the same time, you feel as a believer the responsibility to honor the Word of God. How did you and Matt handle that? Right. Well, we had to have those hard talks with him and just let him know, hey, you know, we've, we're raising you guys under the Word of God. And if you're not going to follow that, and if you're going to go against that, we, you know, it's not okay to live here yeah. and live that way. And so he, he moved out after graduating, and it was... That must have been so hard. I, I cried. I cried so much. And and that's when I knew I was literally going to lose my mind or get on medication or something to be able to function if I didn't get serious about praying and spending time with the Lord. So you you went to the Lord, which is what we all should do when we're in those those moments in our lives. And God gave you a prayer strategy. He did. I t had taken three days off to pray and fast because, you know, some things are only broken yes. in the spirit world, world by fasting. And I think what broke was not necessarily in my son's life, but it was in my life. Ah. God just, he broke me down to raise me up and to build faith up again. As I searched his word, as I began to just spend time with him, listening to his voice, I began to find so many promises in the word of God. And, and I daily was kind of searching those out, underlining them in my word. And then at one point the Lord said, Lori, you need to start writing them down in a journal so that one day you can give those to your son and show him this is, this is what mom did for yeah. you, son. You know, these are the promises of God that I've been declaring over you all this time. So that's, I actually have the, the original journal here that I wrote a hundred promises from the word of God. In Were there. you a journaler before that? Off and uh -huh. on, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think we all this. do that off and on. Yeah. But boy, once I got that assignment, and it was about three years into the process when I got really serious about writing them down, mm -hmm. and that, um, I can I can say honestly though, Terry, early on after I fasted, God gave me such a supernatural peace that everything. In fact, the word the Lord gave me was, "This will end well," mm. and I've I've just stood on that word along with all the promises that. You know, it's been seven years, but yes, there will be a good ending to this. Well, seven is the number of completion. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about finding the promises, because we all know the story of the prodigal son and the word, um, and, and we know what happened there, but you went far beyond that yeah. and found a hundred promises for prodigals. Yeah. yeah. What were some of the favorite ones that well, you Well, there's a ton in Isaiah. There's the one I like there says, you know, I will fight for you. And, the, and I will save your children. Mm. And there's another one that says, your children will come back to you. They will be like jewels and, bear, and, and um, bridal ornaments that you will display for all to see. And I thought that was so beautiful. And then there's one in Ezekiel that says, the Lord will search for your lost loved ones and will bring them safely home again. And then of course, Luke says he leaves the 99 to go after the love one. That. And then there's one in Hebrews that I love. I have to mention that there's specifically, um, the writer says that angels are sent by God 
to care for those who will receive salvation. Mm. So right now, you know, I've been declaring all this time that angels are protecting my son. He's, he's been in some seedy places, but while he's there, there's angels watching over him and he's under the care of, of, of angels. And we know that none of it is ever wasted, that in due time when he comes to himself and back to the Lord, it will not be wasted. You've written books for, um, a book for boys, The Prodigal, Promises for Prodigals, and one for girls. You had an experience with your sister when you were 17 that sort of played into this as well. Right. Well, growing up, I watched my parents go through a similar situation with my sister. She was a prodigal, and she actually was an alcoholic for over 20 years. But when I was 17, my sister actually tried to commit suicide, and she ended up in a psychiatric hospital. And when I found that out, I was a, a senior in high school, I was... I, was, I didn't know what to do with myself. I went for a run and I began to pray. And in that, that time with the Lord, I, I began to shout at the devil. And I said, Satan, I, I'm so angry for this one soul you've tried to take. I'm taking 10,000. Mm -hmm. God, give me 10,000 souls. I didn't know how that was going to happen. Um, I believe God's been doing that through some of the work that I've been involved in here at CBN. But also... <laughs> Then years later, this happens to my own son. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, I got really angry. <laughs> and I said, okay, it's on now. This time I'm, I'm taking 100,000 prodigals yeah. with me to heaven. And I don't know how you're going to do that, God. But, And I believe that the books are part of that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, that's why I made a separate one for, boy, for guys and girls because it's such a... There's places to write your prodigal's name in there. And I just think the pronouns need to match the name. I'm, yes. I'm big on that. I used to be an English teacher. <laughs> and uh, I'm funny about that. But it's just such a personal thing for parents and for grandparents and friends and uncles that are praying for their prodigals. You know, it's just an intimate yeah. time with the Lord. It's a wonderful opportunity to circle the wagons around whoever the prodigal in your life might be, whether it's your immediate family or extended family. But Lori has done the work for all of us. Let me just say thank you for sharing your story. And for parents, there are two versions of Lori's book. Promises for Prodigals has a guy's version and a gal's version. Both are uh, available through Amazon, or you can find out how to get a copy by going to CBN.com. They're next to my bed. I think you'll probably want them next to yours. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Sorry.